Well, hello. I don't normally finish trim wood in my pajamas in my front yard, but when I do, it's because I've had too much Pinterest with my coffee. <laughs> so here I am because I decided we needed a new kitchen island. And I didn't actually record us building the island because I'm unorganized. But I wanted to share this cool backsplash material that I used so that my toddler couldn't beat it up. It's awesome. So check it out. This piece right here is a piece of trim that's going to go on the back and you'll see where it goes in a minute. But I just spray painted it with some Rust-Oleum Teal Blue Lagoon. Or maybe it's just called Lagoon. Yeah, I lied. It's just called Lagoon. Spray paint and then I used some glaze to make that weathered look. And then I put a couple coats of lacquer over it and I think it looks pretty darn good. But who asked me? So anyways, that's where it's gonna go, right back there where I'm measuring, and then I gotta cut it down and pin it on there. Yeah, look at me go. Wear your safety glasses, kids. It's dangerous out there. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It's easy to do. Just click the button. Anyways, I installed this trim with my finished nailer. It's pretty easy. Just pinned it on there. I used some construction glue. And that is the worst caulking gun on the planet. I'm going to have a demolition ceremony for it later. Seriously drove me nuts. The glue would not come out. So this stuff is called facade and it's great. You just glue it on. And it's so much easier than tile. It's easy to wash and clean. You can see the wild animals in the back there. That's why we have to have durable stuff. Right here you'll see me shake my head in quiet anger over this caulking gun. Because <laughs> I had a lot of pieces to glue on and that was the most horrible caulking gun I'd ever used. And I was dreading having to use that to glue all this stuff on. I can't do that with stuff in. I gotta get a new caulking gun. <laughs> it literally had me talking to myself. There's my new caulking gun. Way smoother. And we're back in business. This stuff was pretty easy to install. You just have to make sure your pattern lines up. And you glue it on, that's it. If somebody could invent a turbo speed button for real life, that would be great.
Turned out pretty good. I think the pattern was pretty easy to line up and it matches the rest of my kitchen. Easy to clean. There's my backsplash. All right, onto the moldings. So this is gonna be the trim around the countertop and it's just some molding I got at my local home improvement store. And I sanded it really good and I stained everything with some uh, walnut. I think it was medium walnut was the color. Just fighting the wind. I use deft lacquer for the clear coat. And then I installed it. Started with a micro pinner. I used some construction glue. gun out because the micro pinner just wasn't enough. And I am not above puttying my miters. My trim pieces sat outside in the sun and <laughs> the weather for like a few weeks. So my wood was a little warped and I had to putty and sand my miters and then restain them. So I'm just touching them up right here and then, yeah, I caulked around the edges with some silicone caulking and voila. Hi. So I got my kitchen island finally done. It's all finished. I got the tile on. Behold, wood plank tile and grout. And it's all done. Ta-da. So the front of it we finished off like the rest of our cabinets in the kitchen with this like teal kind of barnwoody, I don't know, teal old look. And then the rest of it is facade, that's what it's called. You can get it at Home Depot, Amazon, Lowe's, all them places. I'll link some down below so you can see what I'm talking about. But we used it on our backsplash as well and it's pretty and it's easy to clean and you really can't hurt it. My three-year-old's been trying to beat this stuff up for a month. And you know what? He can't dent it at all. So our kitchen island turned out great. We love it. We cook a lot. We have five kids. And we needed a new island with more storage. So we made one. many more projects to come you guys like and subscribe follow me please hang out with me while i do these projects so i'm not alone because <laughs> i really don't know what i'm doing i'm just kind of winging it all of it anyways we'll see you back here soon you guys have a good one bye